Hi, welcome back to Colsky Drones. Just wanted to do a quick video today and basically, should you buy a jumper? So, I've had these, I've done a review on I think all of these transmitters in the past but one of the questions I keep getting asked regularly or all the other videos is is the range good on them? Can I do this with them? Can I bind it to that? So let's just have a quick overview. The range on these three so the T12, the T8 SG Plus and the original jumper, I've never had an issue, not once. I've probably been five, six hundred metres, it's never once looked like it was going to cut out on me. I've never had any issues whatsoever. This is the jumper TASG Lite. So, let's be, I'll be totally frank with you, this is garbage. I really don't like this thing at all. I did a review on it and I wasn't as scathing as maybe I should have been, but I've had a go with it and flown it a few times and it's not good. The range on it... I wouldn't risk the range on it to be fair, but it's just the sticks feel horrible. It isn't true multi protocol, so let's take this one out of the equation. So, this is the original jumper which you can't buy anymore. If you can get one of these second hand and it's really cheap, then I'd say maybe get it. The TA SD Plus, which is around £90 at the minute, I think on Banggood when I checked this morning, and the T12, which is about the same money. So, the original jumper does the same as, these two do exactly the same. So this jumper and this jumper, the same bind to the same protocols. Uh, you can run the bugs on both of them, which is one of the great things I keep getting asked. Can you run the bug three? Yes, you can run the bugs on either of these two. Uh, as, the, as far as I'm aware, at the minute, I don't think you can on this. These two run on Deviation TX firmware, which has a lot of nightly builds. So you can go on to deviation.com and on there you'll find nightly builds are called and what they are are firmware updates for these and they simply, down, they simply download them onto them by connecting that up to, up to your PC via the USB slot put new firmware on there and upgrade the system this one runs on OpenTX so up, I prefer this one, this is my favourite transmitter because I love OpenTX, I'm very much used to it and for me it's an easier operating system when I say it easier, it's just much simpler to set up a three position switch. Set up a three position switch on one of these is not particularly nice. But, I overall, would I recommend one? Yes, highly. And there's a couple of reasons. One's price, because the ch this was one I was never going to buy the T12. So we'll discuss it on the T12. So I was never going to buy the T12. I put a video on a bit ago that I, I have a Tyrannis X7 with rated gimbals. And I have the module in the back, which allows me to do everything that this does. I then saw some reviews on this, and people kept saying how good it was, so I thought I'd buy it. If you see my review on this, I'll put the links at the end. This thing's amazing. I love this transmitter. I have a lot of transmitters, as you've probably seen on the channel, but this thing's great. I can bind this to most things that I want. And the reason I'm going to tell you to buy, that you should consider buying one of these is, one, they fly fine. Don't let anybody tell you any difference. These things are great to fly with. The second thing is, if you buy any bind and fly stuff, so there's a lot of stuff, let's compare it to the Tiny Hawk's out at the minute. The Tiny Hawk binds to the FR Sky. It'll bind to this. But if you wanted to buy something else like the ET125 King Kong and you buy it and it's cheaper to get it with, an F with a Fly Sky receiver because it tends to be like that, you can, after they've been out a little bit, you'll tend to find that the price has changed a bit for DSM2, um, Fly Sky and... FR Sky, well, then you could bind it to this. You don't have to keep changing protocol, protocols. Once you've bound it, you've bound it. So it's just a matter of turning it on on that model. So that's one of the main reasons I recommend them. Because really, you've got everything. And the other thing is, obviously, the second-hand market. I buy some stuff off eBay, and I tend to buy if a t tiny whoops are a good thing to buy off eBay. If you buy a tiny whoop or something like that, and it's already got the receiver in, if you've already got a Fly Sky transmitter or an FR Sky transmitter and it comes with the other protocol on, you've already got the transmitter that'll, that'll do it. And the other thing is, there's so many videos on how to program these things on the internet. This thing, just look at any Open TX. Anyone. Painless 360 has done some absolutely superb stuff on the Open TX system. Watch his videos and you'll soon learn how to set a model up. And the deviation stuff, there's loads of videos about how to set up set of two position, three position switches, bind it to your model. So as a beginner, these are fantastic. So if you're looking to make the jump up from toy grade, so your Visual and your Eosheen 
E58s and stuff like that. And you want to get something like the Tiny Hawk or one of the King Kong models or the Mobula. These are the things, with one of these you can't go wrong. And like I say, for the cost, under £100, you won't pay over 100 And I've seen these on flash sales for £70. See if you can get them on flash sale and get a deal. So that's it, just wanted to do a quick video and avoid that at all. I've seen this drop to £18. Even at £18 I wouldn't recommend it. I used it at first for flying in the house. I had um, a little XK model that was on SFHSS and I did it on this. And I think on my video you've seen me flying it outside. It's horrible. It just really is. You can't, the resolution's terrible, the sticks feel terrible. I bought it to review and now I've just got it. It's just stays. It's the first time I took it out of its box today to do this review. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. You've been great.